We got the Canadian uh, PSAs, Anthony. Mm -hmm. A bold and innovative television public awareness campaign about domestic violence will not be shown on Calgary television uh, stations due to an unfavorable ruling from the TVB. Damn. Uh, That's the Television Bureau of Canada. The TVB denied the Home Front Society of Calgary approval to run the two public service announcements because they were deemed too graphic according to their telecaster guidelines. Uh, The purpose of the PSAs is to shine a light on domestic abuse by putting domestic violence situations in public places where it would not be tolerated. Yes. Get it? So they're not going to run these on uh, TV after all, but we have them for you today. We should set them up a little visually. Yes. Even though we don't have... Which one are you playing first? Well, we're going to go with the showstopper second. So yeah. we'll go with the one that's... So the first one's the boardroom. Yeah. And in the boardroom, a guy uh, is uh, giving a presentation. <laughs> he gives some of his facts of the presentation, and one of the guys uh, disputes one of his facts. And uh, the girl at the table uh, says, no, I believe that gentleman was correct with his facts. And the guy that disputed the facts then has a problem with the girl right. and uh, takes it out on her. Right. And yeah. Then, so and at the end, he throws a stapler at her head, yeah. so, and it's great. She squeaks, and he kicks her. <laughs> so basically, yeah. He, he yeah. takes care of business, as all men should in an office. Basically, <laughs> you, you wouldn't act like this in the workplace, so why would you work? Uh, why would you act like this at home? At home, right. So here it is, the audio of the commercial. Are, are we putting up the actual video up on uh, opianthony.com? Uh, they are there, actually. They're there right now. OpenAnthony.com oh, and FoundryMusic.com. Yeah, okay, search right. on PSA. You'll find them. All right, here we go. Search. Shouldn't it be right there, ready to go? I will make it blatantly obvious. Ah, thank oh, you. Uh-huh. And, and can I say for those of you about to watch this, get your mules out. All right, here we go. Look at the next slide. You can see now that our operating costs are up 23%. Ron, I think it's 19. No, the new numbers are right. It is 23%. You stupid bitch. Oh. Don't you... Ever correct me, you're the people again. What do you think you are, you ignorant cow? You think you've got the right to tell me anything? You wouldn't get away with it here. You shouldn't get away with it at home. Oh my god. You throw a stapler at her head. <laughs> it's it's classic. <laughs> he called her an ignorant cow. Yeah. You ignorant, ignorant cow. cow. It really is graphic uh, too. The violence, the way it's done, it's uh, it doesn't look fake. It's great. And and just not little slaps, punches to the face, <laughs> just punch. She was a little buttinsky anyway. <laughs> keep, keep your mouth shut. Yes, I do believe those numbers. Dude, the guy said. Ah, oh, she's brown nosing the ball. Oh, yeah, blasted that little little tattletale skull with a stapler, straightened her right out. You know what she got? Exactly what she was asking for. I'd say so, too. All right. Uh, you want to set up the second one, Anthony? The second one is... Um... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, the second one. The second um, spousal abuse PSA that Canada will not run after all. Yeah. After all. Calgary, actually. Yeah, it's a, uh, a father is with uh, two kids, a boy and a girl, little boy and little girl. They're having dinner out at a restaurant. And this waitress comes over, and she's uh, pouring coffee into the guy's coffee cup. And she accidentally, accidentally spills some coffee out of the side of the cup. And the guy gets a little agitated over this yeah. and uh, works her over. Uh, during the, the loud screaming, what he is doing, he had grabbed the coffee pot from her and is now pouring scalding hot coffee on her chest as he's pinned her to the table, uh, only to be followed up by blows to the face. <laughs> It really is something. As Yeah, then he starts choking her. And this video will be up later today on opianthony.com. It's in the system somewhere, but you got to kind of yeah. like search it out. But we'll make it very easy later on, okay? Yeah, the video is really But here's uh, the audio fun. of the PSA. She spilled my coffee. I'm sorry, sir. You fucking bitch. <laughs> You shouldn't get away with it at home. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Come on. How could you not laugh at that? I'm sorry. It's so (laughs) shocking to look at that you can't help but laugh. Because it's, you know, it's not real. So you watch it and just, oh, my God, this guy's pounding this woman. It's it, so wrong. It gets it passes the point of being like, oh, my God, that's so wrong, that it becomes funny. You know, things that are so absolutely wrong, 
But since it's not real footage of someone right. getting beaten, it becomes funny, and you laugh at it. I, I got to say, though, you know, everybody is leaving out the fact that this man went to a restaurant to have a nice meal, and he was burned by somebody's clumsiness. No, she, she didn't burn him. She just spilled his coffee out of the cup. Well, you know what? He didn't go to the restaurant to have his coffee spilled. He went to have a nice meal with his kids. With his kids. And have his coffee poured in the cup. I feel bad that that waitress made made it a situation that the kids then had to see something so bad absolutely you know it's they his fault fire her it, it's his fault that she's bad at her job little coffee spiller but let me tell you something this might sound cruel but i'll bet the next guy that came in had his coffee poured right to the rim i'll bet it didn't spill. Right out of drop being right spilled. to the tippy top right to the tippity top